In 2024, it is anyone's game with the new 12-team college football playoff. Texas State. They're my dark horse from the Sun Belt Conference. They've got the talent, and I love what their head coach is building. New season, new faces, new stadium name, new turf, and new expectations for the Texas State Bobcats. Two years ago, who could have imagined that we'd be talking about Texas State being in a college football playoff? Unbelievable. Why not Texas State? Despite all the newness, a group of familiar faces looks to prove that last year was anything but a fluke. They hear the noise, the preseason accolades, the playoff predictions, the rat poison. They know that the only way they'll live up to those expectations is by focusing on one game and one opponent at a time. And today, that opponent is the Cardinals of Lamar University. As soon as the ball kicks off, the Bobcats are off to the races. Two quick scores and a two-point conversion give Texas State a 15-0 lead by the end of the first quarter. One made field goal and one miss for Mason Shipley made it 18-0 in the second quarter while the ferocious Texas State D-line kept the Cardinals scoreless at the break. The Bobcats combined for 10 TFLs and seven sacks on the day, one and a half of those sacks by Ben Bell. At halftime, the Bobcats had 295 yards of offense, while the Cardinals had 18. A relaxed mood overcame UFCU Stadium before a tense second half ensued for the Bobcat faithful. Defensive penalties set up the Cardinals' first score, an 18-yard run by Damian Moore. The Bobcats responded with a Mason Shipley 46-yarder, but the Cardinals made it 21-10 in the third quarter with a field goal of their own. Interception by number seven on the Mars defense, Cody Martin, led to a touchdown by number seven on the offense, Savon Ray. Former Bobcats 47-yard catch and run made it a one-score 21-17 game at the beginning of the fourth quarter. The Bobcats are in trouble, and they need a hero. Enter Joey Hobart. Over tap dances the sideline with the Cardinal at his feet to put the Bobcats in the end zone for the first time since the first quarter. Joe Dirt finds pay dirt again with a leaping on court that deepens the Bobcats' cushion. Hobart's hurdle gave Texas State a 34-17 lead with 5.29 left as he finished the day with six catches for 91 yards and two scores. The Cardinals didn't go away quietly rattling off 10 quick points before a successful onside kick gave them a fighter's chance with 37 seconds left. The Texas State defense turned up the pressure and held on to avoid a second half collapse. Not as planned, but still the desired result as the Bobcats start the season 1-0.